do you think we could replace the phones we have right now? Like, we're not going to even have phones. We're just going to have some things on our wrists. And that projects a holographic image of something. You mean like, um, you mean like Google Glass? <laughs> well, the glass didn't fly because they, because it became such a negative staple. Yeah, it was really fucking creepy, right? Yeah, that, that was the thing that made it fall for me. It wasn't even the technology or the hardware. It's just the fact that it is, that whoever wears those are automatically labeled as sticks. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which, to be honest, I find it sad because impression, uh, like, it became an ad hominem ar- um, argument, right? Mm. I, I mean, I haven't tried it. Yeah. I haven't tried it, personally. And I, I really want to see for myself, okay, how is this going to invade other people's privacy? Is the camera really that good of a camera to be able to be used for criminal intent or purposes? Like, and and no, how, it isn't. And how am I going to be able to navigate and work with this thing, with this device? Do I still really need the phone because of it this isn't glass? Really, right, so so it isn't really the camera itself that's um, that that makes it creepy, right? It's what Google can do with the camera. Like if you um, if you use Google <coughs> Photos, like lately, the stuff that they've been able to do with their photo organization is kind of creepy. Yeah, because um, I I'm 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 not discounting what Google is wants to do. I mean, that's a different topic altogether. What Google can do with that technology. I'm just saying the hardware. Like, imagine the possibilities of if that was open source and what we could do or the open source community can do with something like that. Because um, it's not like if you could take control of the data you with the or or, or the information you put in with that device with the google glass for lack of a better term uh i was wondering like will it actually suffer the same fate as what google happened is it because it's innately douchey that you have a piece of technology in your eyes (laughs) i'm not sure that it's like it it, uh it was because it was because of the douchiness it it was because i'm I'm pretty sure it wasn't the douchiness yeah or it's 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 the fact that you have a camera i think it's the fact that there is an always-on video camera. Which is needed by the device to be able to determine certain things. Yes, but at the same time, you have an always-on video camera. Which creeps people out and everybody <laughs> Which is I afraid. can understand yeah. why. Which people will be afraid of. Because yeah. um, it's pretty much a Batman the Dark Knight. And he was just using Bluetooth. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and Lucius Fox was just blues- using Bluetooth, but yeah, I un- I understand, I understand. It's mm-hmm. so I mean, yeah, that's that's why that's why I think it didn't fly. It's sort of because because of that, and well, it was just way too expensive. No, because it's an early anybody. technology. Yeah, it was an early technology. It's around a thousand, a thousand two hundred dollars. So that's just too much for something that does for something that's not even perfected yet. Yeah. Which is why I'm so, thinking, how about all of this VR, HoloLens? Like, are those going to be integrated into mobile computing? Cause, or, or will we come to a day where it's going to be what mobile computing is? Like, are we going to live in an era where we don't even need phones? Just smaller devices, like something, again, something on our wrists, something in our eyes. Hmm. I'm not convinced that, like, the wrist is... Uh, and I'm not convinced the wrist can be your primary mobile computing device, or uh, like like a watch can be your primary mobile computing device, or whatever. Because 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 the screen is just way too small. No, that's why you can project, and then you have uh, what? No, some again, uh, something in front of you that's 3D, um, Hololens, something like that. Yeah, where yeah. you How don't do you need a camera. With, um, no mistake. Like you wear some sort of glass, then it projects up, like. Like you're the only one who can see it, the projection. You know, um, what do you call this movie? Um, very famous movie. I'm forgetting right now. Star Wars. Star Wars. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm re- what? Because what I was recalling was the Obi Wan Kenobi or my only hope moment, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. But the problem with that is everyone can see what you're doing. <laughs> You just lost so much nerd cred by forgetting Star Wars. No, you got it all back. <laughs> you got it all back by like quoting Princess Leia's line. 
No, because it was the first thing I remember. I was... Again, the number scheming of Star Wars is so confusing and it's so annoying. No, there are only three of them. <laughs> hey now. Bang, bang, bang. What are those? Shots fired. <laughs> <laughs> those were three shots, right? One for episode one, one for, <laughs> for episode, episode two, two, one for episode three. <laughs> and let's have one more bang. Why? For Han Solo, because he shot first. <laughs> Where was I? Jesus Christ. This is my AG's Lost Train of Thought episode.